hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can configure a static ip address on an ubuntu linux machine now there's different ways you can do this you can use the terminal and you can also use the gui let's uh, look at two different ways to do it we'll be using the terminal first so the command we'll be using or the tool is nmcli so you can check if you have it it's nmcli so just do version to make sure you have the tool once you verify that the other thing the next thing to do is to check what you have as far as uh, interfaces you need the name of your interfaces so we'll use nmcli connection show so in our case the active one is this one so we'll need this name if i do ip address this is the device this is the active one so this is the one we need to set a static or manual ip address for now the command to set a static ip address is uh, kind of long instead of typing the entire command i already typed it earlier so let me um pull it and then we'll look at what information is inside the command so you say sudo nmcl connection modify then your connection name this is what we just saw earlier it has to be this one if you just put ens33 it's not going to work and then next thing is ipv4 dot method manual because you're using a uh, static ip then ipv4 addresses you want to put the address so for instance i can change this to let's do 11 then your subnet mask uh, so slash 24 then your default gateway then your default gateway ipv4 dot default uh, ipv4 dot gateway then you put your gateway there then for dns since we're using static or manual dns information do ipv4 dot dns and then list the if you have more than one you'll need to put them so for the dns servers you have to put them in quotation marks and then separate them using commas so i have a comma then i have first one second one that's the command once you have that information in there just press enter you may be asked for your password and now if i do ip address we'll see if it changed so it didn't change what you need to do is we'll need to take the interface down and then bring it back up so let's do clear here we'll do nm nm cli connection show to look at the name again so this is the connection uh the interface name we need it we'll do sudo nm cli connection down it's gonna be this name right here and copy it and paste it and enter and it says uh, successfully deactivated now if i do ip address again there shouldn't be any ip address now I'll bring it back up so that it can the changes can take effect i'll change this to up and um, activated now if i do ip address again i should have an ip and it's the new one 211 so we managed to change the ip address to 211 okay so that's the first method the second method is by using the gui you can go to this uh, network connection icon here click on it and then go to settings and in here you want to go to where it says wired if you're using wired connection click on this icon for settings go to so right now it's going to give you the details the ip address uh, the router or the default gateway and then dns information to change it to manual you can come here here you have the option to change it to manual or dhcp for manual select manual and then here you'll need to type your ip so let's increase this by one you'll need the subnet mask then your gateway here then here is where you list your dns servers again separate them using commas i can add this 
apply and if now I open the terminal again I do IP address so you'll see that now we have a new IP address okay if you want to change back to using DHCP you can come back to settings then IPv4 change this apply so now let's check the details again and as you can see now it's pulling an IP using DHCP and we are good to go so it's giving it's telling me that automatic DNS is enabled so technically I don't need this so I can click, click apply and that should be it I will come back in here IP address now it's using the dot 105 that is getting from DHCP so that's all for this video that's how you can configure static IP address and DNS on Ubuntu Linux so I hope this information has been helpful I'll catch you in my next video thanks bye